Guys, I've got a huge announcement. Roll the clip. Talent on stage in 60 seconds. We are going back on tour. We're going bigger, better. This is the Saving Grace Size Matters Tour. Come on, tickets go on sale Friday. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, we've got an American queen on. We've got Madison Beer. Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah, Thank yeah. you for the claps. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I love I'm being tired, here. I'm tired, I won't lie to you. I'm are you tired? I'm exhausted. Do you know what? You can have a nap if you need. I can talk. Cool. Uh, we <laughs> yeah, Good night. Bye. Right. Yeah, nighty night. Um, so, beginning, right? Sure. You're a wee lamb. You're a child. Wow, I love this already. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you know that you can sing? Because in my head, when I was younger, right, I thought I sounded like Madonna. Mm. And then when you get older... Did you? Nope. Right. I sounded like Madonna if she had a bit of strep throat. Okay. Um, so how did you clock that you could sing? <laughs> Um, well, my mom like always jokes and says that I came out of her singing and she says that I also like <laughs> yeah. sang before I spoke. I've always just, it's been a part of me forever. I actually oh. don't like remember singing for the first time or being like, I enjoy yeah. this. Like I really genuinely, it's been a part of Madison since I've been. It is Madison. Her. I love that. Um, I'm tired, everybody. <laughs> I'm like, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but her. yes, I, I, I've always just sang. I don't know. I don't know when I was like, oh, I could pursue this I yeah i just think i've always loved to do it it's you got my signed dream. young though 12 12 that's mental was i'm trying to remember the song was it melodies that was my first single that's which i remember you bring that. that up did you <laughs> <laughs> okay fair uh, <laughs> say no more um do you, like how was it getting big young like very weird honestly did pete did, this is what i'm thinking because you know when you get popular girls at school, right? Mm -hmm. People are horrible to them because you're jealous of them. Were people horrible to you or not um, really? Yes, definitely. Still are. What I mean, bastards. Totally agree. I think <laughs> it's, it's um, yeah, it was something that I dealt with very early. I mean, the, within the day that Justin tweeted about me, it was mm -hmm. kind of instantaneous hate. Yeah. And it was something I had to adapt to very quickly. And then now... 12 years, 13 years later, mm -hmm. I'm still dealing with it, but in much different ways. So it's good. I've, it's I've learned a lot. When you saw the tweet from Justin Bieber, did you think, yeah, cool, I've made it? Or were you just like... No, I didn't weird? know. I honestly, like, of course, was blown away and excited from it. But I, I like, I don't, I didn't know how, I don't know, like, if serious is the right word, but I, like, I didn't know what would develop from there. Yeah. You know, it could have just been a tweet and that's awesome. And then mm -hmm. it could have just been that is what it was. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that I was going to end up like making a career out of it. Which we love to see. Thank yeah, God it's for very that. cool. I remember I broke up with my uh, boyfriend ages ago when dead came out. Oh my God. And I remember cool. putting it on in the car and I was like, why aren't you dead? Why aren't you dead yet? Mm -hmm. And I still stand by that. Actually, me too. you're still breathing. Me and it's too. pissed me off a little bit. <laughs> when you're writing songs, do you go through breakups and think, yeah, cool. Let me put pen to paper here. I mean, make it worth something, you know? Do Let's you get do? Get a song out of it. I think, I mean, like I try to now be a little bit less obvious maybe when I'm writing songs about people because yeah. in the past I've been like a little specific, like <laughs> why are you always such a Gemini? <laughs> or like, there's, yeah. just, like, there's been lines that I think people can easily put together, which I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll still do, but I don't know. I've experienced, you know, a lot and I think that yeah I always will pull I think it's quite a good talent being able to turn what you're going through into a song though it's kind of therapeutic so fun oh, once you've finished it you're like yeah I'm over that now totally fine yeah send it out in the world and then like you get to go on tour and have people sing it back to you and it just, you it just ever... like repurposes what's gone on you know yeah like yeah. Reckless my song Reckless is like mm -hmm. about 
a real crazy story that's yeah. you know quite sad and like was very hurtful to me at the time and now I just look forward to like singing that song with my fans so it's just like Aww. kind of also I guess like replaces the memory have you ever been able to say if you've written a song about someone right and it's a proper like fuck you song have you ever performed it to them like they've been in the crowd I don't know if they've ever been in the crowd because I'd invite them Right. Front row. No, that feels like a missed opportunity on my behalf. Spotlight on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On I probably will consider that on the next yeah. tour. I think that sounds like the smartest we thing. We can sort that do. out, don't worry. Sure. I don't know how I'd sort that out. I'd, I just offered my service. No, I'd, I think it'd be great. I, and I yeah. could use your help. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Anytime. Let's do it. Has there ever been a song that you've written now? Because you've written so many songs. They've all banged. But mm -hmm. is there any one that you've written and you've been like, oh, really wish I didn't release that? or regretted in any way so i have a song called say it to my face oh, I love that, that song it's like one of my least favorite songs what? to be honest and i i, mean, I, I like have never performed it or anything and there's fans of mine who will come up to me and they'll be like why will you like what's <laughs> yeah. going on with this and i'm the just song's banned. i'm like i just hate it and i don't like it and i don't like the way i sound i don't like singing it it hurts to sing because it's quite low it's it starts low and then it gets it go it start goes from like the lowest part of my voice to the highest part of my voice and it's just a stressful song to sing yeah Fuck that. It's just not, I don't care to perform that. So, I mean, also yeah. Melody is like, I don't think I'll ever perform Is it because you were young when you released that? Yeah, I also didn't write it. It was like given to me and it was like, oh, this is going to be, yeah, I mean, it was like, this is going to be your big hit. I was like, I fucking hope it's not. <laughs> I hope this is the one that does it for me. Jesus. It's like Rebecca Black when she did Friday when she was really young and now she's like, yeah, I probably could have done that. You know, that. I think it's, it's, I'm glad that it wasn't a successful song. Yeah, I hear that. Well, I enjoyed it when I was younger. So Thank you. That's any Let's let it be for our younger selves. Yeah. And yeah. Let's leave it back there. <laughs> yeah. that's, we're going to leave, leave it, it there. Don't the keep playing it. Yeah. What point, because you're massive, yeah. So what point do you get to a status where you're like, I belong to be here? I think that I, in ways like I try to, I mean, so this is like, you're going to see my like half of my brain fight with each other right now. But like, <laughs> I... I try to be very, you know, proud of myself and mm -hmm. my accomplishments and I try to hype myself up she and I'm should. like, people love you and, you know, whatever, whatever. But I also have that other side of my brain that is conditioned by the years of hate I got mm -hmm. potentially by my own insecurities of just yeah. like, I'm not good enough, you know, just, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, it's definitely. Well, people have a lot of opinions, but I think yeah. you've also had it for so many years. Like, you know, when they say about like child stars or whatever, they're always like, oh, child stars, you know, like there's a lot going on with them. Like they're never happy, blah, blah. But it's also like people have had so many opinions on that you since you were what, 12, right. 13. Right. So of course that's going to cause some sort of, there, there will be damage of some kind. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, people are really like, they lack a lot of empathy. And I think mm -hmm. that like, I've always heard that thing where we've all heard it of like, oh, child stars, they always end up like going crazy or yeah. whatever it is. And I'm just like, can we, when we're talking about though, like that though, like, can we wonder why? And like, yeah. maybe as a society, like let's protect children in the spotlight. I hate that word, but like in the spotlight yeah. a little bit more and like, let's, mm -hmm figure out why people who I are child people stars don't are like going see through more times. people as human they don't when they're famous or whatever they don't no, see they don't. you as a person they see you as a thing a th yeah that they follow like that yeah that they yeah it's uh, yeah i don't know and i get it because i remember being 11 years old and being like justin bieber or that's not a person that's a, yeah. that's my that's he's just that, this like yeah. thing yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, <laughs> yeah it's different and i and i can acknowledge that i i remember having that and i remember i mean even the first time i met him i was like i there's no way that you like have skin and you're a person whatever anyway yeah um <laughs> yeah. like this is an insane experience but i think that you know obviously getting older it's like everyone's just a normal person everyone's just trying to do their best i mm -hmm. think that we all in life are trying to put our best foot forward and mm -hmm. i think that like you know, I don't know. I've been like very like misjudged and mm -hmm. had have had harsh treatment. Why do you time. think that is though? I mean, I also like was like, I think people will sometimes be like, people were just jealous. I also was a teenager who probably said and did yeah. dumb shit as oh, we all do. So, seriously. you know, I think that like, that's also something that I don't know why, like not to keep bringing up Justin. I don't always like talk about him, but <laughs> yeah, something that I learned like when I was younger and when I was, you know, spending a lot more time with him mm -hmm. was you know, when he was getting a lot of backlash on the internet, when yeah. people would come to me because I was super close to him at the time right. and be like, you know, what's going on? My response always, even when I was, by the way, 14, 15 years old, mm -hmm. I would say to these people, if you had a camera following you around when you were his age, 24 Listen, seven, I would you be career. perfect? I'm no. like, yeah. I'm like, I just, I think people like to act like there are these mm -hmm. like, you know, high, holy 
creatures that just like don't make mistakes and they don't say things that are maybe like not per- I don't know like we all have done things that I don't think we can look back and be proud of. Today's sponsor of the podcast is of course Air Up. We all know and love an Air Up bottle, but I bet you didn't know how many flavors they've got. You've got 25 plus flavors to choose from. They're zesty, spicy, sweet. They've got whatever you want, which means you'll never get bored. Unlike me with some of these guests, only joking. I'm trying to get off fizzy drinks this year and Air Up is helping me because it doesn't feel like I'm drinking water. It feels like I'm drinking a little fruity juice and it's really easy to use. All you've got to do is get your Air Up bottle and get the pods with the flavour you like. Today, I'm going with apple because I'm a sweet girl. So all you've got to do is get your pods, take the lid off and push the pod down until you feel like you can't push it anymore and then pull it up like so. Give me a minute. There we go. And then pull it up like so. And the natural flavors are transported through your mouth and up to your nose. It feels like you're having a little fruity drink. You don't believe me. Listen to the quality of this. Gonna do some ASMR. That's quality to me. It's got a little handle. So if you wanna run, you can just you can oh well don't do that but you can just run with it my favorite flavors personally are the apple the coconut and of course the watermelon i'm addicted and i have them constantly so what are you waiting for get your juicy autumn and winter flavors with an extra 10 percent off of air up bottles site-wide this october using the code grace 10 tap the link in the description and don't forget to use my discount code grace 10 for an extra 10 percent off thanks so much to air up for sponsoring today's episode things will be clipped the wrong way Mm -hmm. like what was the there was a video um of you that people were hating on it was there something like i was meant was it that i was meant to be in the bit but people were clipping that trauma i'm like and i was thinking i they've clipped it wrong so obviously Mm. it's come across like that no one's heard the conversation before yeah the conversation after well that was like a such a silly oh that was fucking ridiculous i'm sorry i watched that clip and i thought it's it's you know it's by the way that's something that i think is like a great example of me being like okay if this is if people hate hate me by the way over like this thing because they think i'm (laughs) cringe or i don't know like the takeaway from that was like i think that people were just like she's cringy which is fine i'll be cringy like i, I actually it's openly admit that, me, yeah. yeah like i openly admit that i could be maybe a potentially cringy person that's okay um but what bothered me about that was people were then really quick to accuse me of lying yeah then i was like wait a second how did we go from like this was a cringy delivery to this girl's like yeah. impulsive liar and then that just snowballed this notion that i like lie a lot, which i do which i don't by the way like i would i would tell you or maybe i'm just the annoying right thing <laughs> yeah i just don't know what's the truth yeah i don't know the annoying thing is right is when like i know you've been there when something happens and management or whatever like just don't address it it's fine it'll blow over and it mm-hmm. does always blow over sure. but inside you're like i just want to show them the email yeah of course i mean the text but then it's like in the moment for mm-hmm. sure when that stupid it's just so stupid like what like we, we live in a world yeah, um, <laughs> yeah like other things going it, on. there's just People so much more yeah. um but of course i was like i could very easily post and share the voice memo with her voice inviting me to be in the video like what yeah. do you guys want from me but then i'm like what am i gaining from that i'm yeah. only i'm only gonna end up getting more hate because people will be like oh you really felt the need to prove yourself oh like you really yeah, had to that's show true. that you that's had true. sex with her i don't know i felt like it would just add fuel to a fire that didn't even need mm-hmm. fueling it, it just didn't I don't feel know like why the fire started it was awesome you know whatever i don't know what happened there people it's are fine. absolutely insane i can laugh at it now i think it's funny do you know what i find though the difference uh cancel culture in america and the uk is if you get cancelled in the uk right you're just cancelled only people in the uk really know about mm. like what's going on when people like for example tana mojo or whatever she'll get cancelled people in america and in the uk everyone knows about it which i feel like is a lot more extreme for someone to go through mm. if that makes sense yeah no i mean that i think that like american pop culture is so like glorified mental yeah, yeah so that's yeah. probably where it's where huge that comes from. i don't know yeah i think we're all just human beings trying to just be nice live live life just i think nice. also that is not to say that people don't do fucked up shit and yeah. people <laughs> yeah, very, people yeah. there are people who definitely should be canceled but i think that like there are other certain things where i see and i'm like really are we yeah. bored today Just look at the severity of the situation and then who, judge it on that who cares um who cares whether or not i was supposed to be in the video who gives yeah, a shit i okay. wouldn't care at least you got the opportunity do you I know what i mean i'm still waiting on the call i'd be like cool girl yeah <laughs> 
I don't actually Good care you. if you're lying. Yeah. If you're doing whatever you're doing, that's fine. I don't care. I can imagine your DMs are a crazy place. A scary place. Because someone said that when you get asked questions, people want to see your feet. Oh my God, yeah. Really? Uh, well, this is funny. My fans get really like offended by this. I find it to be hysterical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I posted on my story the other day, like a video of me with my um, head in my hands. And I was like, it was like... So please, 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 that song. <laughs> yeah. And it's just me like upset, but I wasn't actually upset. And it just said like, show us those pretty feet. And I like uploaded the, that clip. And my fans were like, you guys are so disgusting. Like, stop it. Like, just oh. be like, you know, she wants you to ask questions about her music. I think it's funny. I think that yeah. like, it's, it's fine. But yeah, people love to say, I mean, that's, those are the most PG fame. ones. Well, I can imagine. Of course. Today's sponsor of the podcast is Shopify. Do you know what that sound is? I know it because it's something that I've been hearing a lot lately. The sound that I hear when I make another sale on Shopify. The all-in-one commerce platform where you can start, run and grow your business. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing businesses worldwide. Whether you are selling beauty blenders, fake tan, whatever takes your pick, Shopify is the platform to do it on. Shopify simplifies selling online and in person so that you can successfully grow your business. Covers all of your sales channels from Shopfront POS to all-in-one e-commerce platform. Shopify will even get you selling across social media marketplaces like Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Full of the industry leading tools to ignite your business. Shopify gives you complete control over your brand and your business without having to learn any new skills or tools like design or coding. Thanks to 24 seven help and an extensive business course library, Shopify is ready to support your business every step of the way. It's time to get serious about selling and get Shopify today. Sign up for your one pound per month trial period. Go to shopify.com.uk slash grace, all in lowercase. That is shopify.com.co.uk slash grace to take your business to the next level. Thank you again to Shopify for sponsoring today's podcast. You need to look at your wiki fee see how high up you are wiki fee wiki fee what is that oh, i don't want to know what that is come on basically it's where well now i have to know how celeb this is going to be your new obsession now because oh i God. love i'm just like who's top um <laughs> i don't have a foot fetish just confirm wow. but um it's basically where loads of celebrities your feet get ranked um i don't and want I'm, my feet to listen it's an honor to be number one i reckon i'm not even on it I don't think I'm on it. About I hide these up. puppies. Do you, there's is just, that what do you do it on I purpose? I mean, I'm just aware there are people like scouring yeah, them for a little toe. I know. It's fucking You're not weird. My little toe. It's really, really Hell bizarre. No. <laughs> Hell no. no. Tenor, if you do anyway, pay for it. You know? I hear it. I'll consider. Do you get any weird DMs apart from the feet? You, I mean, I don't them? read them frequently, Fine. but if I do, I mean like, yeah, yes. Yes. Just yes. Full stop. I, I, I just don't know. I don't need to explain further. I hear you. Can imagine. I hear, you know, I actually anything, can imagine. By the way, anything you can imagine, it's been, It's you know, worse, probably. Yeah, most likely. Have you ever... Have you ever... How do I word this? Yes. Has someone... Yeah, absolutely. Who is someone that slid into your DMs? It doesn't have to be mm. like sexually, or yeah. it can be. Right. Come on. It's spicy. Um, or just messaged you that you've thought, wow, thank you. I'm not even not giving you an answer because I don't want to. I genuinely don't know if I like have a good or interesting answer. I'll return with an answer. I'll randomly say someone that you're going to be like, where, who, Fine, why I are can we take that. Because I, I don't just, know. Yeah. Oh, we never get Americans message us. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Who's I'm waiting for Johnny me. Depp. I don't know who's DM'd me. This man's just not messaging me. You met Johnny Depp? No. I haven't. thought this could be my way in. Sorry. Try harder, all right? Next time you come on the pod. I'm gonna, I have a, a to-do list. I want a number. You have to do the list for you, literally. <laughs> Please. Writing you that song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Thank yeah. You. Do you find it hard to date being like high, like high profile? It makes me cringe, you know what I mean? But like being who you are. <laughs> oh my God. It's so, 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 so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, like, I think that I love meeting people. I love like creating connections and bonds with people. I don't okay. also, I don't like go into things being like. Would you, uh, right, as a scaffolder, is that what they're called in America? Like a builder. Sure. On the street. I doesn't know who you are. Great. Hello, miss. Hi. Can I have your number? Blah, blah. Would you date that man? Depends. You would? I don't have like a 
Like, I don't have like a, you have to be a in rebuilding a work like, as well. Group of people or like a certain like, so like, I don't really believe in that shit. I think if I someone's just, amazing, yeah. they're amazing. I just think sometimes maybe it's easier to date in the industry it's because they get it. Probably not. Really? Honestly. Yes. I think that it sometimes mm. can just complicate things. I think it creates sometimes like competition and insecurity and it's actually yeah. probably best to date someone outside of it. I'd just be scared of get cheating on with like other celebrities and everyone finds out as well. It can be asked. Now You're everyone's in my business. People. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. I don't want you to worry about if you're getting cheated on. You should know that you're not getting cheated on. Facts. You should not be with someone who you think is cheating on you. Madison Beer said that. That's very true. She said what she said. Said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. Yes. I love that. Yes. Oh, humble, humble girl. Okay, so <laughs> is there anything that you've done this year that you think would shock people? Rogue question. Hmm. But I think there's not a lot that people know about you. And I always say this about singers, artists and stuff. Mm. You know their music and maybe you know what they're going through like, for their music. Right. You don't know their life. Yeah. Do we really know anyone's life? I feel like. That's um, why everyone knows mine, unfortunately. I air it all on air. That's cool though. Yeah, it's an issue. Cool rap. But, um, something I've done. I mean, you know what? I have like nothing but boring answers because I like honestly have tried to not leave my house a lot this year. Like I've enjoyed not leaving my home. And I felt that. I've enjoyed I really, it. really. And I've loved every that. second of it. Like <laughs> yeah. mm, I'm thinking about it right now. Just making me smile. Just waiting to go. You were saying earlier, you can't sleep anywhere properly apart from your actual bed. That is a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what do you, what do, you do on tour? Not I sleep. Try to deal. I try to deal and yeah. it doesn't work out well. But my thing I was going to say for like something that this is not shocking, but okay. I recently was able to hold my breath for three minutes. Three in minutes? In my pool. Did you, did you train yourself to do that? I like me and some of my friends really enjoy, like we'll come over, they'll come over and we'll go in my pool and we'll just have breath holding contests. You don't leave your house, do you? And right. I respect that. Right. I love that. My idea of fun is come over and let's hold our No, but I pool. used to do that when I was younger. I used to be, until I nearly passed out. Right, like, when Watch you were this, mum. Yeah, maybe? yeah. But yeah. Like, oh, okay. Well, sure. I think I'd still find it fun. It's just we're on fake noodles. blonde. You guys, what do you call noodles here? Is it a, is it a noodle? Yes, yeah, a noodle. Yeah, so we're on, we're on noodles. Yep, yep. Playing Marco Polo. Oh, I love that. And then I'll randomly be like, so who wants to hold their breath? They'll be like, where's who Madison gone? Come? And you're just at the bottom. We also always have a just... To clear, we always have a, a monitor. Someone, someone's always watching to make sure that <laughs> like there's a not. There was a moment oh. though, I will say, when I was holding my breath, because so my friend, I told him, tap me at um, <laughs> yeah. a minute, a minute and yeah. 50, because I wanted to know when I was about to hit two minutes. Okay. And when he tapped me at yeah. 150, I was like, I think I have another like, yeah, minute yeah. In me. Like, I think I can send <laughs> yeah, this shit. Yeah. And I was so excited. Um, and I'm not joking, like, when I got to the three minute mark. I was, yeah. I remember thinking in my head and please don't try this at home. I remember thinking <laughs> in my head, I was like, it's getting, I had, I had my eyes closed, yeah. but you know, when you have your eyes closed and you could still see Things like are going light, dark. you know? Yeah. I was like, cool, it's getting darker. And then I was like, it's getting darker and darker. And oh my God, I think I'm dying. And then I popped up. And when I came up out of the water, my friend was standing in front of me <laughs> and I literally, he looked like the Grim Reaper. I was like, I actually was faced with death. Can I And he just was like, say, Madison, we're done holding our breath. The imagine night. the headline. Madison's beer drowns dies, herself in her pool. literally dies from drowning herself, reaching the three minute mark. Kind of iconic. Oh my god! Listen, at least push it to like five. Do yeah, true. Insane. Do it like three a minutes is crazy. Five. I think that is a long time to hold your breath. Listen, I can do it for thirty seconds, but that's the vapes. But mm. if I'm gonna die doing it, I might as well get, get yeah, be iconic. Five. And where no, my really friends good wouldn't let me die. They're good. They're good at watching. That's how you know you've got good. Honestly, mates. like you, yeah. you'll start to like convulse before you die. So if you if you see any like, how do you know that? Up, you watch too much true crime. That mm -hmm. I also I, I try to do it safety safety precautions. You know, I I don't know what you were going to say and, that. Yeah, <laughs> like, come on, they're they're holding their breath too. I got to know what to look out for. Yeah, that's true. But no, we're we're all we're all good at it. My friend is pushing four minutes. I want to join in. See you in the Come pool. Come on over. I bloody will. Come I'll bring on me little over uh, and goggles. hold your breath, girl. I might have to put a swimming cap on because the fake blonde. I'll okay. go green. Will you? But that's not your issue. That's you my issue. You can't go in chlorine? No, it will make, make me green. That could be fun though. Come on now. Let's do we that. We like a little golf. What sign are you? Uh, Leo. Wow. Is that good? That makes just sense. It, that didn't sound good. No, no, no. It's okay. Not, it's not that it's not a good thing. I just have been like very close with 
many Leo women in my life. Come on. I could just, we knew it was why, coming. That's why we're... Listen. Why this is happening. Well, <laughs> we're here. I've got the vibes. That's why the song's written about me. She just gets on with me. Yeah. Wait to hear it. Talking about songs. Mm-hmm. A new album coming out. Yeah. What's it called? Give me the tea. When's the tour? The tour is in March. Slay. The album is out. You're a fake fan. Um, Shit. But it is cool. <laughs> It's called Sounds with Actually, Sounds, no. So. I you were on my release radar the other day on Spotify. Hot. And I did listen to the song. So you knew it was out. Yeah, well, I wanted to test you. So now you're lying to me. At the end of the day, I have had a Prosecco. Fine. And it's 6 p.m. somewhere. It's 6 p.m. here. Literally is 6 p.m. Right now. Stop catching me out. So it is out. The tour is soon. I'm excited. I'm buzzing. I'm very excited. March. Tour. We'll be there. We will be there. When you see me Obviously, lit up, just know who it is. Madison will be there. But more importantly, I will be there. Mm-hmm. That's why it will sell out. Yes. I'm scaring. actually doing yeah. a tour in February for the pod. Are you? Any advice? Is, this, is it your first tour? No, you said you've been Second one, but the first time. The first one was a shambles, I'll be honest. I was drunk every night. I okay. didn't know what I said. Okay. So. Is it, oh, just you on yeah, stage? Yeah, yeah. And I'll have so like a kind guess. Of like Stand up a little feeling? Yeah, a little bit. Cool. She's a Come comedian. on. Ow. Yes, absolutely. I'm getting that. Heavy so from you. any advice? What you got for me? I have little advice about your show because Brilliant. I, if I try to speak in front of a crowd, I probably will end up dead somehow. Love that you I, could do that, but you can sing. But that's fine. I didn't speak on my stuff. last tour. I like barely would say like, what's that's up my job? And then I, I can just, hold cue cards. Oh yeah. You. Yeah, you can. You, can, you can roll the, the, prop, the teleprompter. Come on, you know. Perfect. Yeah. Now we yeah. know it you're getting paid to do yeah so <laughs> yeah paid. i i could never do what you do because mm. i just again my brain i'm very yeah. in it i yeah. overthink too much yeah. um but to not get like whatever Give definitely how long is it so uh let's say the whole of feb okay so a month of, yeah i would say just yeah like, why did i just say that create create sorry that's fine thank you create boundaries with yourself just like you know Say no if you need to. Like, okay. you don't have to, like, exhaust all your energy. Yeah. Reserve it for the show. There's people who are coming to see you who have paid Perhaps. money, who are excited. And, you know, I like to think about, like, the you know, the show is what we experience. But think about, like, the people who get ready and they're doing yeah. their makeup with their friends and they have to call a car. And then they have to... It's, like, so cool that it's people true. invest so much time and they're so generous with their time and energy. It like that. It's just so cool to yeah. me. Like, I went to my friend's yeah. show in London, actually, the other night, and I was looking in, in the crowd... And I was like, it is so special how many people are just like dedicating so much of their time. Like, so, yeah. I mean, if, if these kids are in the front of the crowd, they've been there since early, early morning. They've sometimes been camping like out. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's really remarkable to me. And I think it's so cool. And mm-hmm. I think even for you, like, you should really, yeah, t- be appreciative of that and be, and be like, the show is the most important part. So if there's other things throughout the day that you True. would say no to, to like reserve that energy. I think you should do that. No going to strip clubs. If you want to go to a strip club, I encourage you I'm to I'm going to go that. to strip clubs. Yeah, so do that. If that's, okay. But like maybe that's going to also give you some, you know, Maybe we'll give you some, some tips. Okay. On how to work the pole. You got a pole in your tour? Are you doing any of that? Any dancing? I wish. That sounds fun. We'll work on that. Okay. That, we'll, that, yeah, that, we'll that can be our that. like um, moment. You can come out. So you clearly haven't got the brief yet for the tour. Yeah. Um, but I have. So we'll, we'll speak about that. Perfect. I've always um, wanted to learn how to pole dance. Have you? Apparently it's good for the core. I fucking need that. Oh, they're so strong. I yeah. Mean. Have you seen like where they like do like the click clack with their heels? You know what I'm talking about or no? I thought like Bad Girls their, Club. That's as far as I've gone. I'm sure they need, they'll swing their like feet around. They'll like clack their heels Ooh. in the front and then you have to watch it. It's so no. strong. It's like ASMR. I'm going to start doing this in my room. I don't have a pole, but I'll, I'll start learning. One. Yeah, we I'll can. I'll help you I love that we can. We can. She's in. I'm in. She's in. Find me up. Staying in London now. Yep. Sorry, America. Anyway. This has been incredible. You're the best. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Tickets to the tour, are they out yet or not? When is this coming out? Um, Like Wednesday. Yes, then. Or the tickets will be available on Friday, but the tour will be announced on Monday. What day are we even on? I next, know. Next, next yeah, yeah. Friday. We're on, today we're on Thursday. Go and buy tomorrow then. No. Fuck. Wait. I don't know what's going on. Next Friday. Next Friday. Wicked. They will be on sale. Right. Next Monday. This coming Monday, they'll, it'll be announced. Right. So I by think. the time you watch this, it's been announced. You're all buzzing. Hopefully. You're all a little bit jittery. In two days' time, <laughs> go and buy the tickets. Yeah. And if you don't, your pet will die. Wow. 
you got to sell the tickets, man. Do you know what I mean? That's a crazy I don't threat. know why I your just called you mad. Your pet will not die. I feel like we're on that vibe now. We just are so... You. I'm oh my sorry. God. What's yours? Grace? It's just Grace. You can call me whatever you want. Cool. 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 Is that what you're calling me? I don't <laughs> want anyone's pet to die. Well, then they have to buy the tickets. M Jesus. Make your oh. choice. Holy shit. That cat's looking a little old, isn't it? I don't co-sign what's going on here. Sorry. I don't... I'm not a part I've of gone this off conversation. Topic. I've hexed you all. Oh. Should we end the pod? MG. Yeah. We're finished. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming on. Love you. Love you. Um, if you've been watching, give it a like and subscribe. If you've been listening, give it, I don't know what, a follow and a five star review. I don't know what's going on. Goodbye. <laughs> Say bye, Madison. Bye.